the most difficult shot in tennis is the serve. And I would argue that the serve in tennis is the one of the most athletically challenging maneuvers in all of sports. And why is this? Why, why is the serve so difficult? Well, first of all, it's the precision that it takes to, to get that ball into the box itself. And I'm not even talking about the corners of the boxes here, the tee or the out wide serve. I'm talking about just getting it into the box. Getting the ball into the box is very, very difficult. And if you've coached any kind of uh, beginners, right? Beginners, when they try to serve, uh, it's just almost impossible to get that ball into the box. Um, I've taught some beginners that, uh, you know, they could hit some forehands and backhands decently, and they were able to pick it up very well. But very, very rarely, I don't think I've ever coached a student where they really picked up the serve right then and there, like their first five, 10 serves, they were able to get it into the box with decent pace. Uh, I just haven't seen that before. And so what, why, is, why is precision so difficult uh, with the serve? Uh, you could see this box right here. It seems like a pretty big box, right? A, you know, a tennis ball is pretty small and versus this box, which is very, very big, what it seems like it. Um, actually, it's not. It's not very big at all because of this net. So this net really covers up, I would say, 30% of that uh, service box here. And so, yes, maybe if you serve um, with some slice or some topspin, maybe you could get it into that uh, short box there. But you don't really want to do that anyway because the returner will blast it. That kind of serve anyway would be very, very difficult to get it super short into the box. And and so this part of the box, of the service box, is pretty much irrelevant. Uh, you don't really want to hit it there, and it's almost impossible to hit it there. So you only have access to maybe more than 60 or 70 percent of this service box and coming from the baseline that is a far away target and no wonder why tennis allows you to have two chances on the serve to get in i don't know if there's any other racket sports where they give you two serves but in tennis you have two chances to get that serve in another reason why the serve is so difficult is that you need to have above average shoulder strength and you know i don't have the best shoulder in the world i don't have the best uh, movement in regards to my shoulder but i can at least get an extension so here's my serve here and a lot of players won't be able to do even this so i got my uh, racket extended up here uh, to the point of contact and your shoulder needs to really extend up towards that ball. So your, your arm shouldn't be bent. Uh, it, shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be low. It should be way above your head. So if you notice that I'm striking the ball way above my head here. And that takes a lot of shoulder strength. And a lot of players don't have this physical ability. It's tough. It's tough to get to this point. And, but you need this, you need this to have some sort of decent serve where there's some pace and some precision, obviously. And so shoulder strength is a big thing in tennis, a big thing for forehands and backhands. But on the serve, it's pretty much a requirement. I think you could get away with just having good hands, um, you know, with forehands and backhands, maybe you could slice here and there place the ball here and there with the serve uh, you can't really get away with it the shoulder needs to be there accessible and strong in order for your serve to have that pop that good pace on it so now that you know um, what's most difficult in regards to the serve you should choose on what to work on do you need to work on simply getting it into the box or your shoulder strength. You, maybe you need to work on both, but it's better to just work on one first. 
So if you're working on your precision, trying to get that ball in the box, I would suggest you work on simply doing a slice serve where you just simply hit that ball on the right edge or imagine hitting that ball on the right edge. So just see, um, it's a little bit of blur, but see how I hit this ball. It's a slice serve and I hit it right on the edge, maybe on the right edge a little bit and I pronate, I pronate to the, to the right and notice that my racket faces out when I hit that serve and it generates a little spin, that slice spin, so that it drops in. Uh, so you need a little spin in order to get anything in in tennis, whether it's top spin or slice. Uh, you could also go with a top spin or a kick serve, but it's a little bit more difficult to perform. Uh, so if you're just working on simply getting it into the box, work on the slice serve, and that will allow you to give you more accuracy and just give you more consistency on your serve. Now, if you need a little bit more power on your serve, I would advise you to just simply work on your shoulder strength. And, you know, it, you're going to have to work on your shoulder strength outside of the court. You can't really train for this on court. So what I would advise you to do is get some weights. It could be as little as five pound weights and just lift it over your shoulder. And you could just look at some other YouTube videos on how to use weights uh, in regards to your shoulder, but five pound weights, five to 10 pounds, that's really all you need to really get your shoulder strength to improve. And there's also another way of improving that extension. It's also your legs too. So a lot of that, uh, you know, strength also comes from your legs. So if you just check out my calves here, how it almost bulges out here as I'm about to serve. Uh, you need to really push off with your legs in regards to the serve and get that extension. So if you're going to work on any type of strength in regards to your serve, uh, also, you know, you may want to work on your calves, uh, you know, and, and a good way of training is simply running upstairs. Running upstairs is just a great way of training your legs, training your calf muscles, and just getting that power, that leg drive lift off the ground. So if you just check out my legs here, um, I am up, right, right here, I'm up. I'm not jumping though, I'm not jumping uh, towards the ball, although it may seem like it. What I'm doing is using my legs to really extend up with my upper body so that I get that extension. So I'm not really jumping, but what I'm doing is pushing off. So that leg strength is also important in regards to the serve, but uh, mainly, you know, work on that shoulder and get that strong and you can have a very powerful serve. The serve is the most difficult shot in tennis and may be one of the most athletically challenging maneuvers in all of sports, but don't let that deter you from learning a good serve. Remember, most good recreational players and even professional players, they use their serve as a setup shot. Most players aren't ace machines or use their serves as a way of getting service winners all the time. They use the serve as a setup shot so that their next shot, whether it's a forehand or backhand, can be maybe a put away winner or something where they can maintain their offense. So look at the serve that way as a way of uh, setting up your point, constructing your point, um, just being on offense as best as possible. It, you don't have to have the greatest serve in the world to be a good tennis player. So I do think the serve is the most difficult shot in tennis, but I don't think it's the most important. Have a good serve, but also have a great game behind it. Have a good forehand, have a good backhand, and have good tactics, have good awareness. That's what makes a great tennis player. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.